Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Stanley Parable, episode 2.5, where we're in an office run by illegal... Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Stanley Parable 2.5. I'm Jake here from the 3D Spoders, and the reason why this is episode 2.5 is for this exact reason that... I said reason twice in one sentence. What you're gonna do? Hey, you're gonna hate. So basically, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going to the broom closet and standing in it for 20 minutes. In but a moment. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. All right, so we're here at the broom closet. And step in, in three, two, one, start. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I'm gonna let the narrator do his thing. If he just plain old stops talking, then I'll go outside and come back in. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm... I'm genuinely confused. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe, when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system you and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Let's wait and see if he talks more. Alright, he's obviously not going to talk. Let's step out and step back in. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. You, too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? 
Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. That literally it? Well, there you go. There's the broom closet to its full extent. Nothing else to see here. Goodbye, broom closet. Welcome back, guys. I noticed that uh, the room closet wasn't really that much, only about six minutes of commentary or footage or whatever. So now we're going to stay in the employee lounge for the rest of the episode. See how long it takes him to die ah, out. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. And I'm going to shut up. It had really been talk. worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Why Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Hmm, maybe it isn't this maybe it isn't sending me a message. Is that it? Is that it? All right, that has been silly parable. But at last, he had enough of the amazing room. <laughs> it he was took so the amazing. First open door on his left to get back to business. All right, well that has been silly episode two point five. If you like this, uh, I if you liked this idea, it took me forever to come up with this one. No, it really did. Then slap that subscribe. Why does everyone say slap that? And why does it have to be involved with subscribe? Really, like I, I, imp I appreciate subscribers. J just saying, but uh, really, like all the big people do it, so I decided I'll do it, and then I just—it just sounds stupid coming out of my mouth. So disregard that. <laughs> we'll cut that out. <laughs> what am I talking about? We'll never cut that out. All right, goodbye.